Welcome to the Whiskey Club. I'm Daniel. And I'm Rex. And it's Rare Whiskey Friday, and it's your turn this time. I got this. Saddle up. Not even gonna like futz about. I'm just gonna go right into the thing. <clears throat> Welcome to Rare Whiskey Friday. We're gonna go through and get first impressions on several different whiskeys. These aren't necessarily large brands. Sometimes they are. More often than not, these are gonna be your smaller craft distilleries without a lot of distribution. If you should be so lucky as to live in a place where you can get your hands on these whiskeys, you're welcome for the review. Thank you for being Oh, fun. so close. Oh, so close. Oh, I panicked. Yeah, I you panicked. did. I and you're like, like, I got four words left of breath. Yeah. But about 10 more words to say. And you freeze. Ah, what this do I do? This is like getting to the end of your breath when you're still three feet under the surface of the pool. Right. And you're like, shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just deal with it or die. Uh, okay, so there's three whiskeys that are all from Magnificent Bastard Gary DeRoches? D-E-S? Des Roches? De Ro Des Roches. Gary Des Roches, you Magnificent Bastard! So, here's the thing about these three. I'm gonna drink them together. Oh, Japanese? Not blended, but... They're not Japanese whiskey. Ohishi? But, but notice it says Ohishi whiskey, right? Distilled and malted from all malted in, in whatever something. Japan? Or, yeah. Yeah, now this is a legit distillery, yeah. but this is a part of the category that we sort of talk about as cold whiskey, but it's actually sochu. Oh, uh, so. Right. By, by, is it international standards? Shochu. Or, or even by Japanese standards? Even by standard. Japanese standards, it's shochu, but there's no American standard for shochu. Okay. I mean, you can just call something shochu. But essentially, shochu is distilled from rice or from other things. Sometimes barley, sometimes like sweet potatoes. Okay. Sometimes other things. So rice and barley, you're in whiskey. Yeah. Sweet potatoes, you're not in whiskey. No, no, but rice is a grain. Right. And so technically, when it gets to America, it's sort of whiskey. The but it's not whiskey like a whiskey drinker would expect. So I think depending on what was specifically in here, it mm -hmm. could definitely be whiskey or it could definitely be not whiskey by American standards. If there was sweet yeah. potatoes in this. No, 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 no. It says all rice. These are all rice. All rice. Okay. So legally it's a grain and legally it's a whiskey, but it's, whiskey. Uh, it's gonna throw people a little bit. Are you throwing rice so, under the bus? Rice is, rice is a grain. Yeah. It's not commonly used to make yeah. whiskey, but it fits the parameters. So this is Sakura cask. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna pour, I wanna go back and forth between all of them. Kind of a light color. Right? So keep track of your left to right. Okay. Yeah? Because this is Musanara. Oh, I, like, I like the, the second Musa. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's 11 years old. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ah, these caps are terrible. I'm waiting for the final pour. And the final pour to give you a chance to catch up. The 2019 edition of Fukanu, which is another distillery. No, Fukanu! Yeah. These are two different distilleries. But notice that the smells filling the room actually smell more in the direction of sake. Did you notice that? All right. So I'm going to tell you right now. Mm. This first one, mm -hmm. I really like the nose. Whoa! It's not a whiskey nose. No, it's um flower. I just uh, it's not iris, but there was a flower. I just bought a bouquet. Yeah. From some uh, from a shop recently, mm -hmm. and it was this big long. Maybe it was iris. Big long. Um, Could have been iris. Yeah. Yeah. Very aromatic. And it's super aromatic. You just yeah. want to live in that. It's and it smells like flowers. It's really just nice. Just flat out green, fresh, fl green, fresh cut flowers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The kind that you would give to a lady. Mm hmm. And uh, you're, you're carrying them and you, you get the smell. And legitimately Mothers. fresh cut. Yes. It's um, a really nice nose. Notice I did not say whiskey nose. No. Because it does not smell like any kind of whiskey you've put under your nose before. But it does smell really nice. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm not going to drink it yet. Okay, moving on. Are you, um, are you nosing the next one? What are we doing? Not yet. I am trying to remind myself. Uh, it's a cherry blossom tree. I knew we had talked about this before, but I couldn't remember. Okay. Sakura, ca Sakura casks are cherry blossom trees. Oh. It's a cherry wood. So, the wood, maybe this is like a cherry blossom smell. Well, remember we had a cherry blossom method in madness. Okay. Uh, okay, move on to this Mizunara, 11-year-old Mizunara. Yeah. Oh, also that, different. Yes, but it Not also... Floral. But it also smells more close to a whiskey expectation. Yeah, the wood is a stronger presence here. And all the things you would get from high proof alcohol and wood. Yeah, and there's like this um, proteiny, savory, 
it's not quite a molasses, but it's an oakiness, a proteiny. It feels like a, this is weird. It's kind of like a, a savory oak. I keep wanting to go back to the nose on the first one because that's literally a bouquet of flowers and it smells del it's delightful. Really, it's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, not like whiskey, but it's no. delightful smelling. Oh, smells uh, okay, and Fucano is... No Fucano! <laughs> yeah, Fucano. Oh, whoa, that's weird. That one's funky. Oh. There's a little bit of a, like a burnt match quality. Yeah, there's that. sulfur. Absolutely. Yeah, so... I, I don't know about that one. So, I... This is a... These are so different. Yeah, delightful this little rum. supposed to be like Rare Whiskey Friday quick. Wait, but well, how many more do we have after this? Two. Okay. Okay, so let's go through the pots. You ready? I'm going to start in the order. I think I pour them in the order I think we should try them in. Can I tell you right now? Yeah. I'm actually very excited. Oh, me too. Yes. Yeah, okay. All right. well, let's drink the flowers first. All right. Oh, it's still there. It's still a fresh cut bouquet of flowers. You know what's funny? I used to deliver flowers uh, out of a van. Of course you did. And San Luis Obispo. Right. And this smells like all my job all day. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had a Thomas guide, because this is before phones, smartphones. Yeah. There were no Google Maps, there weren't any Apple Maps, there's nothing. Yeah. I had a Thomas guide where I'd look up an address in the back mm -hmm. and it'd be like page A37, block four, why, oh, there it is, and then I have to figure out how to get there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the whole time I'm driving around, this is what the van smelled like. It was actually really kind of nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Tastes exactly like it smells with a little bit of vanilla uh, wood at the end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of vanilla, a little trace of caramel, a little trace of oak. That's nice, though. Right? I think I like the nose a little bit better than the taste. Me too. But the taste is nice. The taste is a little bit too vanilla cream for... Do we have a... This is 42.7%. Mm -hmm. 42.7. Oh, man. If I was poured that in Japan at the end of it, I'd be like, oh, yeah, man, this is a dessert. Yeah. But not su overly sugary. It's just so... Yeah. Li lively. Okay. We're going for the Mizunara. Mm, a, little, a little trace of honey in there, too. Yeah. Mm. All right, Mizunara. Now I'm getting uh, tea. Um, for a loose leaf, break a brick off, pour it in a little, watch yeah. it unfurl. With, Jasmine. Yeah, with the AB. Yeah. Once you get the AB going, this is a little bit different of an angle on the Mizunara. It's like a musty brick green uh, tea with jasmine mm -hmm. and then oak. And I still get that little bit of a savory proteiny quality. Oh, and it tastes like oaky green tea. You know? Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? That's really nice. Well, I like that better, actually. Nose first. Yeah. yeah. First one. Palate, second this one. This is 11 years. Yeah. It does not... Like, 11 years is a lot of time. This still, words, this still comes across as a bit young. Yeah, and subtle. But it's not. Yeah. But it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. I like the hell out of that. I think of the first two, if you're looking for a whiskey experience, the Mizanara is going to be worth yeah. that. Yeah. But for the nose, just the nose. Just the nose, though. This Sakura cask. Yeah. Good night. Okay, we're going to the Fukano. <laughs> no, Fukano. <laughs> you just can't help yourself every time it's said out loud. Ah, uh, this one is musty. That sulfur note's throwing me. Yeah, but there's like uh, some type of like. Oh, God. It's oh. in the palate, too. <laughs> There's some type, I'm still on the nose, some type of like baked goods underneath that sulfur ash it's burnt salty. match. The okay. taste is salty. It almost reminds me of the fish sauce ingredient in curry. I like curry fish sauce. Oh, I like that fine. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like it. I, I don't like it, but it's just, it's so, yeah. that thing that's in the nose is so in the palate. You know what we're finding is that's true of all three of these, I feel like. Mm -hmm. I feel like the nose and palate we're pretty on the level. Mm -hmm. The what's, what's interesting is on the palate, you find what you're getting on the nose mm -hmm. plus a couple more layers that right. weren't really presenting effectively on the nose. But, but you're not misled. But you're not misled. And I think I like the nose. I like the nose definitely better on the first one. It's simpler than what the palate delivers. But the things that it's focused on with the nose, just that... Very, I guess, lotus blossom, whatever mm -hmm. it is. That's beautiful. It's amazing. All right. Then I'm, oh, my God. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Got to move on. Okay. And then the, the match. You and Tom Petty. The Burt match on the Fukano. Yeah. 
Um, that sulfur quality doesn't show up on the taste for me. Mm. The ashiness does. The yeah. Burnt match, burnt match ashiness. Yeah. All right, set those aside because we got two things to try here. Oh, my shoelaces are running down. Hey, McFly! <laughs> <laughs> These two are gifts from uh, Wasam Moshi. Mosh? What do you think? Magnificent we, bastard. We, we gotta see the, we, we, it's we, on we, the bottom we, right there. Wasam. W I S A M. You say Moshi, I'll say Mosh. Wasam Moshi, you magnificent! Bastard! Fight. That was fast. I almost didn't keep up. We almost got it right. So we don't normally do these bits of rare whiskey fight. I will drop a couple of them in here. These are light flavored whiskey. Okay. So this is closer to like peanut butter screwball yeah. or the chocolate one so or we, fireball. We recently did a flavored whiskey episode on the Whiskey Tribe channel. Yeah. Trying to... Yeah, see, so you ran out of, you lack patience. It was this side. You went on the wrong side. Okay, you did, it wasn't working because you didn't grab the perforated side. You just got to attack the ass. Oh. If there's one thing I can teach my children. Oh God. It's a life lesson. Oh God. Boys gather around, I'll teach you the meaning of life. No. Whatever you venture to do. No, don't. Attack the ass. No. It's right in the haunches. That's one of those life lessons that the kids all just tried desperately to forget. <laughs> happened <laughs> and then it comes back in counseling one day and they're like no you woke it up did you tell your son to attack the ass <laughs> no that's all yeah him. but i meant it figuratively he deserves to be punished thoroughly okay so we're gonna start with the one on your left because the one on the right is slightly wait, darker there's a difference when i can't remember which one's the dark roast well, this, one's dark roast this is probably the dark I'm guessing because of the it color. It doesn't say it anywhere on I'm there. I'm guessing because of the color. Yeah, me too, but like, shouldn't it say it? Well, wait, the, the one that has, all right, so the darker label is the dark roast. You think so? See right here. Oh, oh original right. and dark roast, okay. Yeah, dark roast. Wow, it really doesn't say it anywhere on the label. All right, here we go. That's misleading. Okay, I'm gonna start with the left. Wow! Sorry. It's coffee candy. Yeah, it's coffee candy. And um, that smells really good, actually. They're using corn whiskey. Okay. Interesting choice. As the, the alcohol base. Yeah. And then they're using agave mm -hmm. syrup mm -hmm. and coffee. For it, so it's really simple ingredients. So it comes across as, the coffee nose comes across as like the coffee grounds. Not quite, you know, you have the coffee brewed. This is the smell of the grounds. Yeah. Combined with the corn whiskey, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna smell the dark roast. Oh, whoa, that's very different. That's very dark too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you smell as, as, I'm not sure if it's coming across Dude. on camera. This is visually darker. Yeah. And this smells darker. Way darker. Now it's approaching toffee chocolate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the, where the toffee and dark chocolate. Like almost bitter. What are those little things coffee. called? Those little bars with the nuts. Almond roca. Almond roca. No, no, but that's a milk chocolate. Right. This is a. I think they make almond rocas with dark chocolate. So almond roca with dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah. but so dark it's bitter, not sweet. Yeah, I mean, because the sweetness is coming from the toffee, not from the chocolate. Wow, that's dramatic. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna try this one. Ah, oh, tastes really good, like a good coffee dessert thing. Very sweet though. Very sugary. This needs to be on the rocks. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. we got ice, but I wanted to try meat first. Yeah, yeah. These would probably make amazing cocktails. Yeah, this was made, you can tell, this was made to be on the ice or in a cocktail. Mm -hmm. The nose, if you are a coffee lover, then damn, that nose is really oh, gonna get oh. you there. I think you're gonna need to play with the ice or the- Try the dark The rose. dark? That's where it comes home. Wow, again. Way more dense, the dark one. Just the sweetness. Wow. Yeah, I gotta say I prefer... I'm actually surprised you like these as much as you do. I prefer the Mr. Black. I'm surprised you like these as much as you do because just this this tsunami of sugar. It is. Sweetness. But I'm not even considering this whiskey. Okay. And you remember, I actually enjoyed some of the flavored ones when we yeah, shot no, the flavored, there's, right? There's so, a few of those that we were thinking, hey, there's flavored whiskeys that aren't intrinsically gross and bad. You have to be in the mood for that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. But I was fine with that. 
I didn't use my fingers on yours. Oh, there's water in that here. Okay. So I'm not I'm not comparing these to whiskey at all. Because we're not. There's anywhere. no whiskey. We're not anywhere near whiskey. Nope. Liked it better warm. What? Than the first one. What? I know, I know. Try it. You'll see what I mean. It got a little bitter. Which, you know, might make it more real coffee. You but know, this is more coffee to me. It is. With the ice, it's not just this giant impenetrable wall of sweetness with some like almond roca vibes going yeah. on in there. Well, I get coffee. Now on the dark. Mm, now I like it better. Yeah. It's meant to be on the rocks. Yeah. Or in a cocktail. That's nice though. Yeah. If you're into if coffee you're flavors, that. you don't mind. Like, as a black coffee drinker, mm -hmm. I'm very not used to a tremendous amount of sweetness accompanying my coffee flavors. Right. I just drink it black. Um, this though, if somebody adds like a lot of sugar to their coffee, and that's how they generally experience coffee, you're going to be right at home with this. What's funny is when I drink coffee hot, I, mm. I like just caught nothing in it. Yeah. When I drink coffee cold, I always want it to taste like dessert. Yeah, sometimes we'll try my wife's and it's mm -hmm. like, uh, like the little ice thing. Coffee and cream mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. sugar and yeah, I like that. Now Joe goes to the Summer Moon over here. Yeah, they have a whole one called the Summer Moon or something like that. It's right. like their in-house. So you got an eyedropper with coffee and then it's just like milk Solid and sugar. sugar. <laughs> yeah, it's too much. But. If Joe wasn't as active as he was, I think he'd have diabetes. By Probably. Now. All right. I found where it says dark rest. Tiny, tiny red print, almost oh, illegible. Red print on black on black font. Eight, yeah, it's like eight points, maybe smaller, like <laughs> five point. Uh, anyway. But the hang tag, though. Yeah, that helped. It forgives all shortcomings. Sure, why not? Hang tag. Okay, that was a thing that yeah. I am glad to have experienced, but it's not a whiskey no, thing. No, and wouldn't really go back. I would, depending on the mood. If I'm not in a whiskey mood. Yeah, but I've already got Mr. Coffee. Um, it's gonna take me seven years to go through that bottle, yeah. and uh, most of it at holidays. <laughs> you mean for, Mr. For other people, Mr. Black. Wait, how did you get a bottle? I was supposed to- I totally to, don't have a bottle. I was supposed to have all the bottles. No, I don't have a bottle. Here's the fight, stealing your drinking. If you fight me, you fight for a friend. You steal me, you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink. You know you're getting really mood changed. May, May you, you drink, drink with us. With us. <laughs>